so hello my dear friends uh, uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today i'm going to just uh, do a small simulation in which i will show that uh, how we can go how we can uh, do uh, provide excitation to coils for uh, magnetostatic uh, analysis so here is our core now let us put a winding in here let us put a coil exactly so let me shift my coordinate let us put a offset on x to be 1 because we need to put it in the middle of one of the leg uh, y can be also 1 and z could be 5 okay now it is here so we can put a coil in here so let us uh, put a torus. So center will be as it is 0, 0, 0. Now we can put uh, our inner radius. So inner radius uh, we can make it, uh, let us say 1, uh, 1.5. And we'll remove this there. Now we can make the outer radius, outer radius can, would be let us say 1. So here is our core. So to excite this uh, coil, uh, first of all we need to uh, make a circle on which uh, we will uh, uh, put our excitation just at the cross-sectional area of the uh, coil. So let us make a circle that will be that will uh, give you a cross-sectional area of the coil. So let me make it uh, zero. Zero. Uh, no, should be two. The center should be at the coil center. Now uh, it can be zero point five. So now uh, here is a circle uh, that is that is the cross-sectional area of the coil. So we can now uh, provide the excitation to this coil. So let us see some hundred amperes. Okay. So uh, now we can see the excitation here. So the excitation is proper. Now. The remaining work is just to uh, assign the material property. So let us assign it as to be iron. And uh, this store has to be copper. So let us put a reason around this uh, uh, system. So let it be minus C minus C and minus one. Then uh, dx can be. Uh, my uh, plus six dy can be three plus ten thirteen. Let me say fourteen. So the third dimension can be put in here as well. So z dimension. So z can be just uh, say twelve. Okay. So we have taken a little less x, it is intersecting, so let us uh, in this box with little higher x, so let us say 8. And just 
Is the transparency here so that we can look into this system? Okay, so our job is done. Let us uh, validate this. Uh, before that, uh, let us set the uh, analysis setup, add a solution type. Let us make it the default one now uh, we can validate this thing so now you can see all these other things are uh, quite good and now we can analyze this system so i can show this uh, this box okay so it is meshing it means uh, the it has reads to adaptive pass as well so the uh, the simulation the modeling is uh, fine uh, we will get uh, results soon so it is done Okay, normal completion. Now we can just um, uh, see the result. Let us see the B vector, all objects. Okay, so we have got it. So let me just remove it. So now we can see our lines, magnetic field lines. Uh, this should be transparent enough to just see the field lines, but there are field lines. So the, the modeling is okay here. Yeah. So there are other steps as well uh, to put the excitation to this file. Let us see the next step. Now another method of uh, exciting excitation is uh, uh, to define by defining the uh, terminal of uh, current. So we can do this uh, just uh, select this uh, circle element. And we can define this as to be the current density terminal. So, so we can see click OK to assign current density excitation. Now we have to uh, assign the excitation as well. So to uh, to assign the excitation, we need to assign it to this coil. Uh, so it will be uh, the current as uh, can say. And at this reason, uh, the current can be uh, in minus x direction. So uh, we will uh, be having minus 10. So uh, note that uh, this is ampere per meter square. So Now it is okay. Now let us validate this. So okay, this is fine. And now we can uh, just run our simulation again. So it is running. It has already uh, gone to adaptive pass three. So okay, uh, it means uh, the uh, thing is working. So let us about this okay it has been completed so we can see normal completion is there and uh, we can see the uh, field line so there are the field lines 
you can see here. Now let us check the other method of excitation. To assign a voltage-based excitation, we need to create terminals on these uh, coil. They cannot be closed one. They has to be open one. And the terminal has to intersect with the outer region. So let us do that. Uh, so what we can do, we can uh, cut it down, split it. So let us split this with the uh, YZ plane and uh, take the negative side. Okay, so we have cut it down. Now we can uh, take uh, two cylinders and whose center should be zero two, and this should be in YZ axis. Okay, so we are creating a terminal. So it should be two and zero, the center of this, and the radius will be. Uh, 0 0.5 as per our model and uh, uh, the height should be 4 so it has not taken height so let us manually enter it 4 so here is uh, we have the cylinder so let us create another cylinder by uh, By copying this, shifting around this, so this must be shifted by minus four. So it will be okay, fine. Now, if we show the outer box, you can just see that uh, it matches. Okay, the, uh, the surface of the terminal and uh, and the outer region matches so this is proper now we can put uh, the uh, excitation to this now we can make it 10 let us say 10 volt then uh, select the reference uh, voltage as well so let me make zero volt now it is ready now we can uh, just uh, do one last thing we should unite this cylinder uh, cylinder and the torus we should unite this and there will be assigned a material that will be copper Fine, our voltage excitation are intact. So let us validate this. So okay, it is fine. So we can run this. Now again, uh, the simulation is uh, just going on. Let us see, is there any problem? So meshing is going on. Okay, it has reached to adaptive pass one. So our simulation will be fine. So thank you for watching this uh, video. Same as you have done for voltage, uh, you can do for voltage drops as well. So have a nice day. And please subscribe to the channel and like the if you like the video, then like it and share it as well.